Hey everybody, Marty with Skulls and Bones here. If you're not familiar with our company, we are a Viking drinking horn company. We do all of our own products. We do custom carving, custom painting, as you see here, and we try to try new things all the time. Here are four of our products. The two larger ones with the curved handles are the curved handled mugs. Those generally run 35 bucks a piece. Uh, that one right there is the Texas Longhorn. The more boxy one is the Water Buffalo. And these little ones are what we call hardwood bottom skull cups. They run $25 each. We do custom carving as well, and that is a little bit extra. This right here, the custom painting, probably only add about $5 to each product. This isn't a money grab. It's not about trying to make the cups be worth more. It's just me trying new things. We do most of our sales in person at craft shows and items like these always stick out and make people stop by and talk. Skulls and Bones is a family business. Right there is my daughter and you'll see my young son run by a few times and my oldest is actually holding the camera right now. What I'm doing here is basically a soap paint technique. I have done a set of horns like this before. I do have the video posted here on YouTube I can link to that post as well what you do is you come up with a base color here I went red and the previous time I did go with like a purple and gold mixture and then you pour some soap over to the top afterwards you spray paint with black or I guess any color and then anywhere that had the soap the bottom layer comes through then you wash off the soap and let it dry and you're good to go most but not all of our social media followers are Minnesota Viking fans, which is why we went with purple and gold the first time. This time we went with red, hoping that it kind of gave it more of like a blood look. At the end of the video, when I show you the finished product, let me know if that uh, blood look really comes through or not. Here I'm starting on the second hardwood bottom skull cup. Uh, on the very bottom you see I did tape it off uh, so that the wood would still come through on the very bottom of it We do have our logo on them as well. I bought a Brander about mm, Two years ago and we started doing that figured that was a great way for people that buy our products to remember where they got them from a little bit of extra marketing Now if you do want to buy these or any of our products as of right now, we do not have a website. What we do is we do most of our sales through social media messenger. So you can find us at Skulls and Bones. Uh, both of those are plural. So S-K-O-L-S-A-N-D-B-O-N-E-S. -S -E Skulls and Bones on any social media. We're on TikTok. We're even on Twitch. Obviously, we're here on YouTube, Facebook. Uh, Twitter um, we actually have a pretty good Twitter following and you can just send us a DM and we can send you product photos and help you get exactly the horn that you want that's where we do stand out and distance ourselves from other companies because if you have looked into drinking horns in the past you will see that often the big companies make you just choose from drop downs as far as like what size horn you want what uh, color you would like it to be, all that kind of stuff. Where with us, you get to pick the exact one that we ship you. We do also charge the exact USPS shipping, so that way we're not trying to make extra money on the shipping, we're just trying to get it to you as economical as possible. There was my boy running through. Now these water buffalo horns, I did add to our inventory about, about a year ago and they do have a very distinctive boxy look they have lots of ridges they're really really cool we do sell them in a full horn as well as in the curved handled mugs like this they were a lot harder to get down how like thick to cut the handles in order to get them to bend because they are a little bit thicker all around these mugs really do feel great in the hand though especially after they're sealed. We do seal our products inside and out with a food safe epoxy. The reason why we do the outside, despite the fact that most other companies don't, is it gives it a really glossy look and that little bit extra layer of protection, just in case they are dropped or something like that. 
We uh, don't recommend dropping the horns. However, they are horn, so if they're dropped in the grass, dropped on the carpet, uh, they do tend to survive. We actually had one instance where we were heading into the Minnesota Viking Stadium and we had our full-size horns with us. And unfortunately, when we put them in the box to walk through the metal detector, the guy slid it by too fast and it did drop on the concrete and it was okay. It fell from about waist height. Here they are all sealed and finished. Hope you like them. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more. Thank you.